Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Legion. As you can see, it is a busy day here, um, outside of Shalaran. And we need to do some world quest, guys. And fortunately, um, Suramar is filled with world quests. We've got, looks like over 10 easy world quests that we can do. And we definitely need some Nightfallen rep. And Nightfallen are actually one of the emissary quests. So, four of those will get us even more rep. So, I think today we are going to focus on trying to knock some of these out as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and start with this one up here at the north. It's for the Kirin Tor, and it is relatively easy. And I get to chat with you guys. Oh, we got a lay race. I didn't even see this one. Let's go ahead and check this out. Now, as you can see, we're on one of these uh, mana sabers. And what we're doing is we are trying to track down these beams of light that suddenly appeared here on the road. These are the paths we need to take, and our goal is to fill up this bar. Every time we pass through one of these things, it adds five to the bar. We need to get a hundred. And that'll be a really quick uh, world quest that we'll do. Also want to go ahead and talk to you guys about what exactly the future of this series is going to be on the channel since we've kind of ran out of a lot of stuff to do <laughs> because um, of rep grinds and such. What I'm thinking about doing here is changing the schedule of this series to an every other day. So instead of seven or six days a week, it's going to be th or three days over the course of the week, probably like Monday, Tuesday. Or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or something like that, because due to the fact that we've ran out of most of the quest content, and that's kind of what I created this series for, was to show you guys all the quest content, all the flavor. So um, I think that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going, um, actually, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic finishes on Tuesday, or on Sunday. Whoa! We must bolster our ranks. Oh, that was weird. Seek out the withered and soothe their rage. I will beckon them to Shalaran. It's probably pretty laggy today if so many people are here in Suramar at the same time. So if it starts chopping out or anything like that, I do apologize. Now, while we're on this mana saber, we actually don't have to deal with anything annoying like mobs attacking us or anything like that. So that's cool. And let's go ahead and just head this way. But Kotar should be ending on Sunday, and then I'm going to have to get another series, actually two series, one to replace Kotar and one to fill the slot from the empty days from this series, so I'm going to have a lot to do. <laughs> Boy, it's kind of arduous when I think about it, but it's okay. But in terms of what we're going to be doing here um, on the channel, still going to be doing, like, because the, the rep grind's still going to take a bit longer than probably a lot of people think but there we go gonna still gonna try and do a little bit of PvP I'm um, gonna try to do the two raids that's one quest down that gave us 50 night fallen rep and 98 rep with the Kirin Tor and sadly the Kirin Tor are not part of the uh, quest line but are part of the emissary quests but Emerald Nightmare is definitely on the agenda, as is um, the Trial of Valor. Yeah, the Trial of Valor raid. So still plenty to do. It's just I'm gonna. Those are long raids that I'm gonna have to split out over multiple episodes, and that's actually cool because I can do that all in one shot and publish those as they need to be pub. pub <clears throat> excuse me, need to be published. And um, yeah, I think I think that'll work out best for everyone involved. I'm hoping at least. And then we'll be able to get the rep needed with the Nightfall and to open more of the quest up, because I know there are there's still at least one quest hub um, that we need to take care of here, including much more storyline, so our business in this zone is not complete by a long shot. And I know I've been here for quite some time. I've actually been in Suramar longer than any of the other zones. Except for, I think, I think I was in High Mountain for a long time. Now, we're driving back here into the Moonguard Ruins. I'm sure you guys recognize this place. I know I do. 
but the Kirin Tor on the other side. I guess I could have just taken that portal that we created, but what would be the fun in that, right? Our magic will break you. I don't know what PvP to do. Um, I've seriously been thinking about Alteric Valley. I don't... It's like, I played Warsong Gulch and Arathi Basin and, and all those other... all those other games. And it's cool, but it never really comes off like Horde versus Alliance. It's not like a big battle. That's always bugged me, is that they seem like team objectives and not... Oh lord, that is a bad place to have that happen. Dun 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 dun. Hey, the Siege Master's up. You remember him? He was uh, stuck in the wall? Or stuck in the floor? Now we can go ahead and pay our respects. Yoink. Which we shall do right now. But Alteric Valley is the... the quintessential, like, regular queue-up battle between the Horde and the Alliance. Primed mana charge, arcane charge. Well, that's good. That'll help us uh, give the Nightfall in their medicine. Now, here's the magic of flight. Here's the our, where we we're coming to. Now, what we do here is these bubbles are going to head to a certain location, and we need to uh, follow it. And I believe the location is actually below us. As you can see. And it can kind of trick you. But we just tap this arcane artifact. Easy mode. 75 night fallen. Now I think some quests open to us once we get 2000 rep into Revered. Which, uh... Let's see... Nightfallen. Oh, we're almost there. It might be 8,000. I guess we'll find out once we get back to Shalaran. Now, we have two over here in the... What is it? Oreth the Vile? Oh, that's that huge... That's that huge Etten that we saw before, I think. Well, let me go ahead and head that direction, guys, and I'll see you there. So it looks like Oreth the Vile wasn't a uh, giant, actually. Looks to be a withered who's going to be spawning right here, so I guess we'll wait patiently. Oi. But yes, indeed. I hope that's going to be good for everyone. Because I just don't want to do world quests every day. That's, that'd get boring really, really fast in terms of, like, content. Because you end up having to do the same world quest over and over. Now, it's not nearly as repetitive as it was when you'd have to do the uh, daily quest grind for like Burning Legion or Burning Crusade and all those other ones. Oh lord, that could be that could just suck the fun right out. But um, oop, there's Orth. Hello, Orth. But still, if you're doing a daily, <laughs> a daily YouTube series, that same content over and over again, that's a death knell. Now we have some help, fortunately. And he has some help as well. He's summoning Pinkies. So let's fire the cannons! And he's trying to cannibalize something. Just like a Forsaken. That's one of the coolest things that the Forsaken have, is that ability to cannibalize. I really wish that you could do it while in combat. The Forsaken can only do it out of combat. And boop. Some Shaldurai silk. And we'll vanish out of here and let them deal with the binkies. And now we need to kill some spider people and set six webbed victims free. Now fortunately that's right around the corner. I have no idea what I want to do for the series to replace it though. It just, I'm, I'm usually okay about it when I have just one series to replace, but now I technically will have two. And that's going to be, uh... The Felderoi were elves once. Now of course they were. they are monsters. Birthed in the chaotic energies of the failing Arkandor. They must be eradicated. 
That's pretty bloodthirsty for a uh stands together. Bloodthirsty for a night elf. So all we need to do is dive down here. I said dive down here. There we go. Some of the worst creations in Azeroth had once been elves. They kind of took the Tolkien philosophy of orcs originally being elves and took it in a whole new direction. That's actually one thing I like about Warcraft is that the orcs and the elves really have very, very little in common. Hey. Thank you very much. And here's a webbed victim. Boop. I think I can make it. Thank you. Wow, normally you don't... Normally you actually don't get, uh... People that you can actually rescue out of those. You get withered you have to kill. Looks like we have nothing but Horde over here. Which is good. That means we can tag as many mobs as we can. Now I think... Most of the spider folk are up here on this platform. Yeah, there's there's a brood mother. And at least we're gonna get some people wrapped up. And an ancient mana chunk. Nice. So shink. Oh wow, another victim. Let me show you how it's done. Wow. They, they, they must have changed this because back in the day you were not rescuing people. There's a withered captive. And I'm really not going to go after you just because you're a boss and therefore won't be that easy to kill comparatively. So you get to live this time, broodmother. Actually, I think I've killed you before. I'm actually relatively, sh relatively positive of it. Part of me wants to do L.A. Noir. Because that I I really like um, Rockstar games for the most part, and since for some reason they refuse to give Red Dead its proper PC release, though you can do it on the PS network, um, their service where you can like stream old games to your PS4 and your computer, you still have to pay like an additional fee for that service, which I disagree with quite a bit. So since Red Dead is out of the picture, I know for a fact though that they do have L.A. Noir, which I have never played, which I'm surprised because I love Noir. If you follow this channel for a while, you guys definitely know that. So um, I might give that a shot. The problem is though, money is quite tight. Very tight. Like penny pincher tight. So I don't know. I'll just have to find something that'll uh, that'll entertain you guys as well as entertain me. And that's the important thing. I've seen a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers, um, play games that they don't necessarily want to play and that you can tell that comes off over the course of the Let's Play, that they're just not a fan, they're playing it just because pe people want to see them play it. And I never thought that that's a good enough reason to do a Let's Play because if you're not enjoying it, that's bad for all involved. Well, that's another one down. And I can't fire it off the cannons. I guess since I don't have any solid ground, because I am walking on giant spider webs. So what's next? We've finished our stuff for the Nightfallen. We need to... 40 Starlight Rose, that's herbalism, so that's not what we need. We can head back to Telenor and send the Ten Withered away. We can release Suesh and get our Jurassic Park on. Man, there are a lot of world quests out here today. Well, how much ancient mana do we have? 83? Did I get that mana chunk? No, but no I did get the... the there we are. Now we can go ahead and give them their medicine. Let's head back to Shalaran and turn in the quest and see what we get in our emissary box. And then we can continue on. So I turned in the Emissary quest, nothing opening up over here, so it looks like we're probably going to have to keep on going. We've got 3,473 rep. Let's put some artifact power here in the blades. Inspector's Pennant. 
835, definitely lower than our 860, but we did get some order resources out of it, almost a thousand, which gives us 12,346, which means I can get an upgrade to uh, our order hall here relatively quickly. I think it was 12,500 was all that was needed. So that's handy. Now, let's go ahead and take care of some Withered here, using that Spellstone that we got when we first got here. That daily shows up a lot just in different places. Sometimes it's outside of here at Shaloran, sometimes it's in these ruins. And once we get a little bit more into the story, we'll get an ability that lets us do it as an AoE attack, which is pretty handy. But if you guys have any suggestions for, like, games to play, and it doesn't necessarily have to be new, but just something that you would, you think that I would enjoy playing and you guys would like to watch me play, go ahead and give that a shot, because, um, I think we could have a lot of fun. Thinking about doing another Star Wars game after KOTOR is over, though. It's like, maybe Shadows of the Empire for, uh, N64, because that was always a really big a big hit when I was growing up. I played the crap out of that game. My brother and I both. It's it doesn't I don't think it's it's held up well. Seek out the withered and soothe their rage. I will beckon them to Shalaran. But I think one of the things that people are really looking forward to in the Star Wars universe now that Disney has a hold of it is the Star Wars Rebels cartoon is bringing a whole bunch of stuff back into the Star Wars canon that had been kind of discontinued um, when the EU got discontinued. And I think a lot of people are hoping for Dash Rendar to get put into the canon again, because he was kind of a cool character. I think people either want Dash Rendar or Kyle Katarn, and I don't really care about Kyle Katarn, but Dash, Dash coming back and being in that kind of swashbuckling um, post Yavin era, or a pre Yavin era, Yavin era, Yavin era, not Habanero, would uh, be pretty cool, I think. So send them all back. Now I don't have enough mana for Wither training, and normally when I have this for a world quest on a character who's not a tank, I just gather the 400 mana. I do the quest and then I exit out almost immediately. I don't even go into the ruins. So you get the rep for it. Regardless, you just don't get any of the really kind of swanky stuff. Looking at the loot table for the wither training, unless you really, really want that fox mount, there's not, or a few toys and, and fluff stuff, nothing really there that's uh, absolutely needed. Though I do know some alternate looks for weapons. Are available there in the wither training. I haven't even really looked for the dread blades. Oh, looks like some other people are out here searching. Had a herd of panda. Just go through. I don't think that's called. They're called a herd of panda. I don't know what the plural form of a or what the group of a panda would be called. A dynasty of panda. Come on, guy. This one's mine. You got friends waiting for you. Hey! Do you mind? I'm like really trying to uh, take care of some stuff. And Ghost's gotta get all Brody. Did he disappear or did I kill him accidentally? Crap. I don't know if I've actually told this story. Um, it seems like appropriate place to. But there was a... I think I have, but it bears repeating. A long time ago, in a Warcraft far, far away, during Burning Crusade or, um, or Wrath of the Lich King, my friend Cullen had this um, hunter, and he wanted to get this pet, this black tiger, that spawned in Crossroads. He wanted it desperately for his, for his Beastmaster. And he had gone through, this is back when this, this spawn had like a 10 hour long spawn timer. And a lot of people were trying to get it. So it was definitely a labor of love and a source of much frustration for him to try and capture 
this tiger. And it was in the Barrens. And, or this black lion. So he's sitting there and he's been waiting for like an hour. Waiting for this thing to spawn. He has a macro to target it and all that good stuff. And then some alliance show up. And it looks like they're trying to give him trouble. They're like flagging and, and poking at him and trying to get him to fight. So um, me and Terenia, who was our rogue friend, we actually head over there to offer some backup because he lets us know this is happening. And we start, and I think Old Craw as well, who was a priest. And we beat the absolute crap out of these alliance. And we're just kind of sitting there basking in our, ba basking in our PvP victory. And then all of a sudden, a mob starts attacking me off to the side, and I don't even think about it, because it's, it's crossroads once you're in a lower level area. You, you don't really pay attention to the mob so much, you just kind of hit them and go about their business. And I turned around, and without even thinking, Frost shocked it, and it died, and then I heard Colin just go, no. I mean, just like out of an action film, and realized horribly that I had just frost shocked and one shot killed the mob who had spawned while we were fighting the alliance. So uh, he'll never let me live that down and I'll never let myself live that down. <laughs> just that t that hours and hours and hours and he had it and then unfortunately the lion decided to try and pick a fight with a shaman. Now we can actually get, despite the fact that I'm not an herbalist, we can buy Starlight Rose um, for the supplies. I wouldn't go about doing that because that's probably going to be as expensive as all crap. So let's head into Fell Soul Hold. And I don't think we're going to get any of the quest. The Withered must oh. be made ready for our assault on the Nighthold. Their resistance to Fell can be bolstered in Fell Soul Hold. You command your resistant wither to test your resistance against the potency of fell magic. Okay, I've never really done this, so... I guess we have to expose them to volatile fell? Or do they have to get hit with abilities, or what's going on here? Or is there something we have to... tap? I don't know, hopefully they're following me here. Animate fi oh, that this actually might be the trick. Come on, guys. Hey, that's too far away. I'm not exactly sure what they're wanting of me here. Oh, we got a worm tongue toady following our guys. Hey. Back off. Oh, he showed up again. Okay. Now, let's see what happens. Command withered. Alright, is this all we have to do? Oh, the orbs. I see, I see, I see. Alright, well that's fair. Now, unfortunately... It doesn't look like we can stealth with these guys, so we're going to have to fight through all the nonsense. That's cool. I've never done this one before. So every so often, they'll add in... Ah, crap. My group was delisted for inactivity. I'm trying to find some... I'm trying to find some people who actually want to do the quest to take care of the six Trigger Brothers. Because I still feel I need to get vengeance for them screwing me out of all those quests and that money. Goblins take those things kind of personally, don't you know? Did all of our withered die? Oh, there you are. That's right, Mr. Giraffe. Get all the marmalade. More of our withered are now able to withstand the fell. Our revolution will not be stopped. Cool. So the only other one is Claws for Alarm. That's where we actually get the uh, turn into Murky the Murloc again, which is awesome. But I think the last one that we need to do is Magistrix Valesa. I remember that was a mob I avoided inside Suramar City. 
So uh, let's go pay our respects before we end the episode today. Okay. Well, looks like we have a paladin. So we're going to have to go ahead and utilize these alliance. They're trying to take her down. She's pretty tough. I've actually been here waiting for a group to take her on. I've seen people try and solo her and uh, didn't end well for anyone involved. Now, one of the things that you have to do is keep her away from her attendants because otherwise they'll jump in and life is uh, not fun. But it looks like we're doing okay. Just gotta try and interrupt her arcaneness because those bolts do a lot of damage. If they're hitting you, of course. Almost there. Oh, her friend showed up. Boop. There we go. Stellar. And there's our resources and our Valiant's glory. And everything as is exactly what needs to happen. So that gives us 12,915. Let's go ahead and head back to the Hall of Shadows and see if we can get our uh, class hall upgraded. I was about to say guild hall, but this is not guild wars. Though, you know, guild, guild halls or player housing would be kind of cool, Blizzard. Just saying. I know you get a ton of people playing again. Oh wow, those guys are still role-playing in there. Had some folks role-playing in the Horde Tavern in Dalaran. This is, I do play on an RP server, so it makes sense. They're committed though, they've been doing that for the last hour. So I'll be, probably be finishing up all of those world quests off camera, because we just need to get them done. It's gonna be a long rep, rep grind. But, what to do for the next episode? Maybe it's time that we go ahead and uh, start getting a raid dealt with? Maybe the Emerald Nightmare? I think that might work out. But I think I'm going to start that new schedule here, Hasty Pocket Watch, um, starting now, since we're on a Wednesday. So the next episode of Warcraft will be on Friday. It'll be, yeah, Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday will be when this shows, at the normal time, at noon. And I hope you guys understand why I'm having to do that, but I just, I really don't want the series to get stale. And I'm still in a raid. Yoink. Go ahead and leave that, and... Need help? What do we got? Plunder. Allows you to place a work order for one of your three weekly seals of broken fate in exchange for order resources. And completing world quests with a combat ally provides order resources. That's actually pretty cool, but this is far more useful. Because the Seals of Broken Fate will allow you to re-roll, or roll for extra loot, um, when you get stuff in dungeons and raids. And it'll take 12 days. Yoink! Light bless you. So now we have a mere 415. Let's look at the world quests. See if there's anything of interest before we call it a day. Um, gold, rep, rep, investigate the Halls of Valor, which unfortunately I don't have enough for. Eh, nothing that really piques my interest. But I do know that completing that last world quest made sure that we now have to go turn in... What was it? For the Wardens. So I will head that way, guys, and end it now. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.